Right, some time ago now I made this simple tool post fixture for my MyFit ML7 to replace the compound slide. And I made it to take this large uh, piston type tool post made by Matchifit. It's the 250-100. And it takes the 250-101 and the 250-102 tool holders. So it's a nice large size um, tool post. I only put the compound slide onto the lathe when I need to do any compound work or angles or whatever. So I leave this one on the lathe uh, for a really nice rigid setup. And you'll find with most small modelling lathes like the MyFit ML7 or the Chinese mini lathe that the actual compound slide being so small is quite a weak point on the lathe. Um, if there's any movement in there it can be translated into uh, chatter or whatever or vibration you can actually lock the slides which I do with these two uh, locking screws but having a setup like this is much better plus you can actually machine the actual base there uh, to get the center height right and use nice sized tools like the um, 12 millimeter type rather than the 8 and 10 that you normally use on the smaller type um, tool posts and like I say, this is an excellent type of tool post, the piston type, but Matchifit have just brought out a new one, which I've got from Banggood. This is the 250-1, and it's an Alaris type uh, tool post with the sliding wedge type gib. And this is a superior design to the actual piston type. And if you've seen my other videos, you'll see that I've put the Alaris type on the um, compound slide of the MyFit ML7. This is the 250-0, a nice little tool post there. This one here, they've been very clever in making this one because they've made it to the same dimensions as the piston type. Therefore, they didn't have to make all the tool holders again. It takes exactly the same tool holders as the piston type, the 250-101 and the 250-102. And this Alaris type was very smooth to operate from the beginning. I didn't have to strip it down or anything. If you have a look at the mechanism there, if you're not familiar with this type, you have a look at the wedge type locking device. It's a very clever design, absolutely brilliant piece of kit. The only problem that I did have was a very slight bear on the top of this um, side on the actual um, wedge. The tool holder wouldn't go on there nicely, so I run a diamond lap up and down that one just to take that bear off. And now it fits nicely so um, that's sorted out and when you get either of these um, tool posts here they have a simple bolt down through the um, center take the nut off there and on the underside here there's a plate steel plate which is threaded and all as i did to fit um, the one on this fixture here as I put this one up in the jaws and turned down this plate to actually fit the bore here so that the nut here is just below the surface of the underside of the actual fixture. So now I can take that one off and it's the same size bolt on both of these so I can put the analyst type tool post on. and lock that one up and that's ready to bolt onto the machine I take the um, plastic handle off and put one of my brass handles on to make it look and feel better It gives it that extra bit of quality. So 
So now I've got the tool post fixture securely mounted on the cross slide and it's ready to go. And I've got this tool here set up with a blue nano insert in and a piece of uh, 316 stainless steel in the chuck there.
and that tip looks excellent still it's producing a lovely finish and it's a lovely rigid setup And I think it's an excellent tall post.